tradition at the downtown podcast, we do a downtown Vegas um, fortune of the week. So I'm going to get her to choose. Are they vegan? Sure. Can we get another one? Can we handle it? Alan, please. Yes, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Alan. So, Sabrina Sanders is kind of a woman of a low hat, but she's a very well known journalist here and she's big in the vegan scene. So, she's actually here to talk about the movement that's been kind of not even gradually but happening but exploding in the Vegas scene, right? Absolutely, yes. It's amazing what's happening all over the city and downtown in particular. Um, there are so many different options now. You can go all over the place and get everything from pizza and saucer to like chicken marcel and ravioli at the Triple George. It's really incredible. There's so many great options. I remember when I first moved here, it was kind of hard. Like when you take a vegan friend somewhere, you really want to take them somewhere where there's variety, right? And when you get stuck in some of the casino diners, that's not always a great choice for them. So you've kind of seen it explode. And, and now there's everything from like Triple George to all sorts of other places, right? Absolutely. I actually was gone for a couple of years and I came back in May and I was pleasantly surprised to find out how much, you know, growth we've seen um, in the vegan population here in town. Um, there's so many places. I actually have a list of places downtown, just downtown alone, mm -hmm. that have added vegan items to their menu, have, have separate vegan menus. Um, it's really a cool thing, and I'm just so happy to be able to be here and, and talk about it. What is what our appetite with, uh, with some of your list? Oh, some of my favorite places, um, well, I love pop-up pizza. It's in the plaza. It's like, where else yeah. do you get vegan pizza yeah. and vegan soft serve in a historic hotel, like downtown? It's, <laughs> I, I love it. Um, there's the downtown farmer's market. We get vegan tamales. They have all these varieties of tamales. Um, they have, like I said, um, the Triple George, there's Nacho Daddy, Radio City has a great vegan pizza option, the Bronze Cafe is, I don't know if you can that downtown or not, but... Um, I think it's downtown. They deliver to me and I have downtown. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you had the Tree of Life sandwich? Mm -hmm. Everybody's going crazy about this Tree of Life thing. I, I haven't had it yet, but I can't wait to try yeah, it. Yeah, you really need to have it. Okay. There's so many things that I just, I'm like sort of on the list. Another one of them that I really want is at MTO, they have a vegan coconut carrot pancake. That sounds really, really good. I've had that as well. You have? Yes. They, they deliver to my house, too. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys know how you are. Yeah. Um, so, and there's Simply Pure Container Park, which is raw food, and it's super yummy. And there's a new place opening. Um, I have a scoop on that. It's called, what is it called? It's going to be across from Container Park. It's called Veggie Nation. So that's kind of cool too. Oh, wow. But yeah, there's so many, so many great things. A friend of mine, his name is Paul Graham. He wrote a book called Eating Vegan in Las Vegas. He has a popular blog and he turned it into a book. And it's got all of the vegan listings all over town. And it's like the totally exhaustive list. He goes to all these places and blogs and posts. And, um, you know, he is like, his blog is like the go-to place for everything <laughs> vegan actually. Because, um, Happy Cow, which is the usual place that vegans go to whenever they're in a new city. It wasn't really the the best sort of um, the best spot for for everything. It wasn't totally like exhaustive or whatever. So he wrote this blog and he's got everything on there. It's really really amazing. So I'm proud to him. Yeah. And you also write on a blog too. So if people yeah. want to read his blog and they also want to read yours, like where do they need to go to? Well, my book's not out yet, actually, so I'm happy to be here. My book isn't isn't published yet, but it will be soon, hopefully. Um, it's going to be called The Pretty Vegans. But um, uh, you can go to The Pretty Vegan blog. So it's prettyvegan.com. That's my blog. And you can find me on Facebook and Twitter, yada, yada, all that stuff. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah.